Emmett, cool Emmett dolls, cool Emmett, cool Emmett dolls. Yeah, the cool kid crew. I'm beautiful. I can do anything to put my mind to. I'm a cool kid. First off, I'm Dominique Scaife, and I am the owner of Cool Image Dolls, and we specialize in the design of black play dolls and content that is built on building self-esteem from a young age. The reason why we spell Cool Image Doll with a K is because we believe that kids only openly love, and so that's why Cool is spelled K-O-O-L. I've been that little girl who always played with dolls. I was so detail-oriented that I was always looking for like parts of the dolls that either look like me or didn't look like me. And I like to use my hands, and so I was that child making mud pies and just growing up trying to find dolls that look like me, then becoming a parent and still trying to find dolls that replicate <laughs> my daughter, my nieces. I um, got into customizing dolls. And so I always knew I wanted to be a doll maker, I just didn't know how. So I taught myself to sculpt, I taught myself to customize dolls, not thinking that I would have an entryway into manufacturing. And slowly but surely, just not giving up, I've found that way. It took a lot of years, but that is the story. Just a little girl who has always wanted to make dolls. And now it's becoming a reality. So this is Zori. And typically, what is on the market currently are 17 inch dolls. So in comparison, she's a big girl at 22 inches and she will be the first doll ever manufactured for children um, to have the palms of her hands shaded lighter. If we take her shoes off, the soles of her feet are shaded lighter, just like children of color. What I tried to do from hair to toe is really celebrate what a little black girl would look like so that she could see an image of herself. And what that does is evoke self-esteem because everybody deserves to see an image of their self and feel celebrated. So she will be the first and hopefully, most certainly not the last. One of the most important things is me being able to finally walk in my purpose and use my creativity to just make change. But on a broader note, I think of with starting a company, you're able to build community and bring jobs. And like I said, most of all, like the world needs a lot of creativity and it brings me joy to do that. So that's what being an entrepreneur means to me lot of problems that I've had to overcome. First of all, just the fact of finding out how to manufacture dolls, that's not something that's typically done in the United States. So making contact with people overseas and overcoming that, and not only that, asking for change in how dolls are made, specifically black dolls and how they're represented. It's been a lot of challenges, and slowly but surely, we're overcoming step by step day by day. <laughs> My biggest tip is to be honest with yourself about what you do know and what you don't know and what you can do and what you cannot do. And you find people or apps or YouTube or something to fill that knowledge space to help you. When you don't know what you don't know, you then can fill those gaps up that it would not happen overnight <laughs> and that what I thought would take a short period of time I really needed to double, triple, maybe quadruple the amount of time that I thought it would take. Oh my goodness, just having a business advisor and help um, for you to bounce ideas off. A lot of times you become so overwhelmed you don't see that a solution is like right beyond your anxiety or what you think has gone wrong and this is just a place where you can immediately get answers help and just also find out like you're not the only one um, some of the things that you're going through people have gone through so it's just being able to not be alone just the mere fact of dealing like with manufacturers not getting the things that you thought you were going to get on my own, I would have had a complete meltdown. I got answers. Okay, let's pivot and do things this way. So just the ability to keep going. 
and the future looks super cool <laughs> um, we have a lot of products coming out um, a lot of dolls a lot of things just to build self-esteem so I'm excited about all of the products that are coming our way and actually getting our dolls to these children. What I plan for Cool Image Dolls is to have um, dolls, of course. We're gonna have clothing where the children can dress like their dolls and the clothing are like all statement pieces that will say like, I love myself, I love my hair, I'm beautiful. In addition, we have YouTube content that eventually we would love to have into children's television shows. From the Ascender community, I really at this point just need for the word to be put out about our company, share, tell a friend, and even just turn our YouTube on, give us some watch hours. That would be a great help. <laughs> so our newest addition is Nia. And just like Zori, she has the palms of her hands and bottoms of her feet. And created lighter in a shade to replicate children of color. And with her, big cool kids can play with her. She also is created for children as young as six months of age, sort of like a My First Doll, so that they can always have an introduction of a doll that looks like them. But definitely we found that our big cool kids love her because she's soft, they can sleep with her, but also our little cool kids will be able to snuggle and cuddle from a very young age. You can find us at www.coolimagedolls.com and that's cool with a K and on all social media platforms under Cool Image Dolls. At Cool Image Dolls, we want children to play cool, dress cool, and be cool. Cool Image Dolls, Cool Image Dolls, Cool Image Dolls, Cool Kid Crew.